Alright ladies and gents, now we're doing uh, bar number 4 I believe. Everything burned. Like I said last time I gotta remember what I'm gonna do this uh, second time. Just run, save time, especially for the uh, trophy that you need to complete the game within 3 hours. Don't need to waste my bullets there. Anywho, let's uh, just go into this uh, creepy forest surrounded by water. Oh my goodness. There can be gator everywhere. Okay, I still have the axe. Eh! Don't do this to me. Oh, I need to go into water. Oh, the control is vibrating. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Was it blind or was that supposed to be a clue? Then move. I wonder how I. I'm definitely not gonna use a gun. <sighs> Something maybe collectible. No. Don't really want to run, especially on not on the first place. The hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. The hell? But this is how Indians bury their dead, right? Closer to the sun, let them rot and smell everywhere. Oh, for fuck. No. Wow. Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You after Jeremy too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's alright. He might be unharmed, but far from alright. He's a curse upon DeSetto. Ah, oh, here we go again. Quiet! Fuck you, no. It is blind. What the hell? Oh, Christ, Christ really man. nice teeth. I want that shotgun. Now. I already checked the uh, some of the trophies. Uh, it's got a lot of sticker, and yeah, uh, according to the trophy, we we gonna get the shotgun. Oh wait a minute, 
Maybe that's why. Like I said, the pistol is not gonna be enough. We'll need the shotgun for that creature. And... Also, there will be a Thompson. Good start. Left holding the back. Bullet knives. Intended for painting, but it's thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. Clue. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Sitting room key. So I'm here. Sitting room. Where is it? Uh, there's another puzzle. Dr. Gray's office. Sitting room, sitting room. Uh, what floor is this? Okay, one garage, kitchen garden, boiler room, laundry room. No, I don't see anything that suggests sitting room. Apartment. Ah, there you are. Ah, okay, now it's green. So that's. I gotta go up. Okay. What do I need for this? Ooh. I'm probably we're gonna get it just before. It doesn't even suggest like a key or something. <laughs> It. It's wedged shut. It worked. Uh, okay. Straight ahead, left. Oh. Hello. Detective Conby. Hello, How good Detective. of you to come. 
Let me pour you a drink. What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. Did the ceiling just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this. But I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him. Or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Well, I'm happy you find the evening so harmonious. I, uh... Hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Hope to see you again soon. Yeah, evening, miss. Ruth seemed like a handful. Her talk about Jeremy and the Dark Man made it sound like she might know something of importance. But ultimately, it felt like a dead end. Uh, find a set of boiler mansion, okay. Oh, we did that already. Can I get some more of that whiskey? Go ahead, detective. I don't think I can stomach any more anyway. All right. I should go here. I think. Wait a minute. No, on the other side. Oh no, that music. Why, why am I here? this we've been here right Okay, come on. There's something missing. Oh, wait a minute. France is missing. Okay, we need to find uh, France.
What does the map say? Okay, so Cassandra's room, Grace's room, and toilet. Toilet is here. Pee pee? No. Stop it. Just a little girl. <sighs> oh yeah, they don't have a television yet. out there you drawing something nothing special I'm just bored do I know you from somewhere I remember you mr. Conby from where don't touch that Cassandra wouldn't like it she wouldn't like it at all do you know where she is I'd rather not talk about it it makes me upset Right, I know. Let's talk about it. She'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. All right. I'm going to go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. Is he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. You should know that by now. Oh, that's so strange. Coming that from a little girl. Why did that girl look so familiar? Detective Comby just couldn't quite remember. His last few years were clouded by a drunken haze. A haze which now had turned almost opaque. Considering their shared past, Grace had every right to feel slighted. But it wasn't in her nature. She was amused. Wait a minute, there's Seto, so we, we're in the, the Seto, so that's the hint for probably, yeah, well, uh, the boiler room is uh, down in the basement. And then the Hateful Mound, that was uh, there in the swamp, I believe. Break through the barricade, so maybe we're going to be transferred there very soon. No, without the shotgun, please. Your medicine. Miss Beauregard. I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. So this is where Cassandra Beauregard ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. Mr. Waits, everybody hates. There's more of that rot again, like it's guiding me to do something. But what? If I find the full set of bottles, then maybe uh -huh. I can make something out of the stains of rot. I don't think I have everything I need. Of course not. You're missing like two, I guess. It's another one of those strange padlocks. Gotta find where. What about this one? Where's not the compass part of the recipe? Huh. That's one. I don't 
think I have everything I need. And one more. That's probably in the next room. Or maybe it's gonna be here. Uh, I don't see it there. Okay. Uh, but nothing here. Let's have a look at the next room. We still need to find the uh, map of France piece. This must be that kid's room. Why does she seem so familiar? Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Ruth. Creepy. Right, I think that's it. Uh, shall we go to a boiler room? What does the map say? The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? Find the medicine bottles, but uh, it shows hints. Cassandra's room, like uh, now I'm not sure. Like, does it mean Cassandra, like it will have to go to her room or the second bottle is in her room? Let me have a look a second time. I don't see it at all. Oh, there is this thing. Maybe it's truly there, but... Cassandra, Cassandra. Any clues? I think I have everything I need. Cassandra, any the person of power, da da da. Emily, patient files. Let's go to the boiler room. stairs I need the key oh, shit what is this I need something. I've got a watch. Because I was there. 
and they couldn't get in. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. You know, Mr. Waits, I saw a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it mm -hmm. up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? <laughs> I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Maybe if you had more <laughs> eyes, you would see these things. Oh boy. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. <laughs> Cheeky as fuck. Okay. Uh, okay, what do I need here? It's another plate for the talisman. Like the other one, it's broken and missing some pieces. So I need to find... Okay. So I need two pieces. So I'm getting over there, so... There's something missing. Place the missing valve. Okay. Find uh, some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. Find a combination for the luck. Repair the, the corrosive plate on the boiler. Replace the missing valve to turn off the steam. Cassandra's room. Oh, don't go there. You do not want to get burned. Okay. But where now? That's the thing. Boiler room, yeah. Da, da, da. Laundry room. Pantry kitchen. One more time. What is that? Black bolted door. Bolted door. Unlockable. Let me have a look. I look on the lock door completely solvable. Okay. So if it's white, it's still showing. Okay, Claire's coffees. I don't have a key. It's bolted door. Wait a minute, dude. Do... Ah, that's from the other side. Oh, wait a minute. The drawing. The drawing room. Can be open. Go there. Where is it? Uh, okay. How can I get a library and small small parlor? Straight ahead. Fuck. Hey there. went shut. It worked.
Hello. I don't think I have everything I need. Oh shit, I will need another thing is here. A telescope. Another clue? Barlow lens. Okay, I need I will need a lens from the Barlow lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. <laughs> magnificent magnification. Cellar key. Cool. Don't mind if I do. Dark color. Lost children. What's this? Peacock. Uh, find the missing medicine bottles, the gun in the parlor. Investigate the small parlor. But where am I, right? Okay, we've got a key, so we'll have to go there. Cellar. Uh huh. So let's go back. supposed to come here but look a cutscene Sure. Right. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't, you. I, Mr. Hartwood is I, nowhere near my for, kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I, kick I you out to, of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Bitch. Hotel. Eh? Combi was in shock, but also a little embarrassed. The housekeeper was furious to find him searching through the kitchen, and had run him out of the room. 
There was something strange going on with her, but it didn't feel connected to the case, so he decided to stay out of her way. She's probably cooking some human. Or oh, a cat. Oh, so many collectibles here. Oh yeah, now I remember I was here and this was locked. Now it's not. the electricity to get to the valve. Oh, there, there is a valve. Great. Whoa. Oh, Jesus Christ, another thing to find. Where's the cable going? Forsaken crucifix. Just a collectible, yeah? Yes. Yeah, thank you very much. Huh. Can I put it back on, please? Oh, of course not. I can hear you. I'm wondering what the explanation is going to be like. <laughs> Take many bullets, my friend. this for then maybe when I do it eventually it will transfer me again Jeremy the hell Where's the body? Barnacles. Oh, look. 
broken plates. I need one more. One more. All right, guys, we're gonna finish the video right here. Thank you very much for watching and please like, subscribe, or leave me some comment. What do you think about the game? Uh, yeah, I still, uh, I can uh, make up my mind. I need to play a little bit more. Anyway, I'll see.